waste a step. Playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Has that wriggler eaten your brain already? Leave, or you'll end up in tonight's stew. You'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. What's that? Don't... As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. You see the shadowed outline of a figure. Let's have a look. What is this place? Don't look. My darling Macron, she wished for the mind of a genius, but the silly head crushed me. Oh, please, please! What's in here? Wait, wait! This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. disease that ravaged it. Don't look. Don't... waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through, not again. Images flash, a man cowering, a bag open at his feet. Gold coins spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him, dismembering him painstakingly, limb by limb. She cackles. The man's remaining flesh, twisted and contorted, becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Flee, you feel it cry. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. You're mine for 30 more years, Petal. You see an image of blue skies and sunshine as the door shudders a warning. Run. Its form flickers and you realize that the door is transparent.
You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. What's up for discussion? No, no, don't look. Mustn't look, mustn't see. I see it. What's to come? Me, dead, dead, flesh rotten, bone shining. Skull splitting, knife twisting, gut spilling. All future, all bad, all gods, don't hurt me. Oh, please, 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 please. Monster, monster, for mind dripping, flesh peeling, mind flayer. No! No! Mind flayer! Get away! Get away! Away! No away. intention of letting that happen. Let's have a look at myself. Not bad. Don't look. Not better days. Don't. Here goes nothing. Stop. A Please. thief who tries to steal from Auntie. Now the good little pet guards my horn. Away! My gentle lord. No. He wished to know what was Don't. to come. Feel the barest hint of life from within the door. You see the hag, eyes bright with glee as she sets fire to the door. With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. The presence within shrinks, begging you not to run through it. Stop. You feel the barest hint of life from within the door. You see the hag, eyes bright with glee as she sets fire to the door. With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. The presence within shrinks, begging you not to run through it. Stop! Please! Please! A thief Wait. who tried Wait. to steal from Auntie. Now the good little pet guards my home. Don't look. Don't! My gentle Lauren. Stop. He wished to know what Please. was to come. Uh, Please! I've had better days. And worse. Away! Away! Don't look. Don't! No time to dally. Crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through. Not again. You see the gallery, its walls lined with the hag's victims, their bodies and minds twisted beyond ruin. Flee, you feel it cry. Frustrated, the door rattled. You see the hag and yourself. You lay bleeding as she leans over you, a smile on her face. Her teeth, a row of deadly needles, shine as they dive into your throat, blood spraying. The door stays silent. Its form flickers and you realize that the door is transparent.
The door shudders, imagining its wooden frame cracking and splintering in a raging inferno. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. You feel the presence within shrink, terrified. Please! Please! Another step forward.
shouldn't have made me your enemy.
mind and, well, in it. Someone doesn't like visitors. been in more unsettling places than this, but not many. <sighs> Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone.
You come to my home, interfere in my business, and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair. You petulant bollocks! I'll rip your spine out your asshole! I'll use your blood to spice my stew! I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones. And then I'll bring you back and do it all over again. Just get out of here, please! You want the girl so bad. That girl hasn't got long, if you plan to save her. This will do nicely. Oh, position. I've seen everything. I am fury. I am death. You bow, or you break.
concentrate. Onward.
Hier auf Platz. Wait! Oh! Wait just a tick! Killing me is a waste of time. I'll find a way to return. Always have, always will. But it's unpleasant. So how about we be civilized about this, hmm? I have something you want. She's worthless to you. Let me leave with the girl, and I'll give you power. You want to be stronger, tougher, smarter, done. Anything is possible. Just let me keep the girl and her babe. Trading some wealth we just met for impossible power. It's a fine deal. It's your choice, sweetness. Greedy little ballocks. Fine. Here. I'll not soon forget this sweetness. You have my word. But the deal. What about my husband? What happens to him? Deal's off, you dumb cow. And you've her to thank for it. Not that it matters. I'll find another just as plump and ripe. I can set up shop elsewhere. People always need lotions and potions. If I ever see you again, you'll have a tentacle for a tongue. Bye-bye, Petal. have seen everything. I have something to ask. Mm. You bastard! You ruined it! You ruined everything! First my brothers and now my husband! What more do you want? Ethel was going to bring my husband back. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Because of you! She would have! I had everything figured out. Just a bit longer and my child would have been born. And all this, all this would have been over. Don't judge me. I have nothing. My baby would have been raised in rags. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life. 
teach them magic even? More than I could have done. I always wanted to be a mother. I just never thought I'd do it alone. Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin all the way home. It's the only way this child will ever meet their father. I hope you're happy. Always room for more? to put my hands on everything. Coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. <sighs> what? You can. You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. What have you done to him? But this isn't what she promised! I wanted him back!
grips your chest. Your strength falters, and emptiness grows within you, Paladin. Something has been lost. You've broken your oath, Paladin. At the close of day, I will be waiting for you. We have much to discuss. Ugh. There better be a soft bedroll in my near future. 